God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Aurora lucis rutilat, celum resultat laudibus, mundus exultans jubilat, Gemens infernus ululat, cum rex ille fortissimus, mortis confractis viripus, pete con colcans tartara, solvit catena misero. Illequem clausum lapite, milles custodit acriter. Triumvans pompa nobili, victor surgit de funere. Inferni am gemitipu, Solutis et doloribus, qui asurexit dominus, resplendens clamat angelus. Esto perene mensibus, pascale Iesu gaudius, Et nos renatos gratiae, tuis triumphis agrega. Iesu tibi sit gloria, qui morte victa prenites, cum patret almo spiritu, in sempiterna secula. Amen. I am the vine, you are the branches, Alleluia, Alleluia. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, in abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back, let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. 
Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. I am the vine, you are the branches. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoicing you will draw water from the wellsprings of the Savior. Alleluia. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Rejoicing, you will draw water from the wellsprings of the Savior. Alleluia. The Lord has fed us with the finest wheat. Alleluia. Ring out your joy to God, our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feet. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt, Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. 
But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. The Lord has fed us with the finest wheat. Alleluia. If Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, while the spirit is alive because of justice. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will bring your mortal bodies to life also through his spirit dwelling in you. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to Him. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to Him. Alleluia. God the Father has given us His Son for the resurrection of His people. Let us turn with confidence to the Father and say, May the Lord Jesus be our very life. As a pillar of fire you lighted the way of your people in the desert, 
Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. Through the voice of Moses, you taught your people from the mountain. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. You fed your pilgrim people with your gift of manna. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. You gave your people water from the rock. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, for whose honor the bishop St. Stanislaw fell beneath the swords of his persecutors. Grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.